everyone and welcome to Learning is a Journey. I am Smita. And I am Prashita. And I am the special guest, Swetra. Swetra. And today we are here with 10 new words for you. So let's get started. So today's words are fraught. Fraught. Assiduous. Evaluate. Murky. Hoax. Resourceful. Impeccable. Exult. Component. And? Labyrinth. And the first word is... Frost. And the meaning is, it's filled with usages Fear permeated the crippled airplane as the passengers realized that their situation was fraught with danger. Part of speech. An adjective. Adjective. Okay, so the next word is. Wait, let me see anything about that. It might look so cute. <laughs> Assiduous. It means devoted, attentive. The usage is. Florence Nightingale was a paragon of mercy in her assiduous care for the wounded soldiers. Do you know what paragon means? Paragon? I do. Paragon is like a role model or a perfect person. Excellent. That's correct. The paragon is a perfect example and Florence Nightingale was a perfect example of mercy in her assiduous care for the wounded soldiers. Some other words for assiduous is diligent, sedulous, industrious, laborious, studious, indefatigable, zealous, tireless, painstaking, and untiring. And the part of speech is an adjective. Don't forget what it means. Okay, so the next word is evaluate. Evaluate means to appraise or to find the value of. Sentences, when I asked my English teacher to evaluate my plan for the term paper, her incisive comments were very helpful. And the part of speech is a transitive verb. So as you can see in the picture, we're evaluating the pros and cons and weighing the merits of one against the other while taking a decision. The next word is... Murky. Murky means dark, obscure, dirty. Usage is the murky quality of the artist's latest painting is the antithesis, antithesis of her former style. An antithesis is the opposite. Part of speech is adjective. So as you can see in the picture, there's a dark, dark and, and obscure. Like a Painting. dark forest with some fog in there, which makes it really scary. And now let's move on to the next word, so we don't get bored with the same word. The next word is hoax. Hoax. Uh, it means a humorous or a malicious deception. The practical joker had the temerity to perpetrate a hoax upon the dean of university. Now let's break that sentence down. Um, do you remember the meaning of temerity? Yes. Temerity means the boldness or the confidence to do something. Yes, temerity is the boldness or the audacity. And perpetrate, do you remember perpetrate? Yes, we did that on the 29th week, I think. Yes. And perpetrate means comment. Comment, that's right. So the practical joker had the boldness to commit a practical joke upon the dean of the university. A dean is the, the head. Head, head of the university. And the part of speech is a noun. And in the picture, as you see, the, a person is typing. If you share this with Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg we'll, we'll send, send you, you $4.5 million. Obviously, that's that, a hoax. It's not true. Anyway, let's move on to the next word. 
Next word is resourceful. resourceful. Resourceful means having the ability to find a solution to problems easily. So the usage is the store owner was resourceful enough to run a sale the day after his building had been raised to flames. How did he really the resource the store owner was resourceful enough to run a sale the day after his building had been raised to flames when what did he have i mean if, if his building was raised to flames he wouldn't have anything to run a sale would he mm. wow that kind of is a sentence now i think we should do the part of speech and the part of speech is an adjective and here you see the picture with a person with many hands doing some having many weapons. And now let's move on to the next word. Impeccable. The next word is impeccable. Uh, it means faultless. Although. Okay. Although basically frugal, his taste in clothing is impeccable. So frugal, do you remember the meaning of frugal? Uh, I think with, yes, frugal means, Harshika, do you remember the meaning of frugal? Um, frugal is sparing or economical with regard to money or food. Sparing or economical, okay? Although he's basically frugal, he, he doesn't weigh, uh, spend a lot of money. He saves a lot of money. His taste in clothing is impeccable. So that does not mean that even though he's frugal, he does not go buy cheap clothes. He still His taste in clothes is still impeccable, which means faultless. So the part of speech is an adjective. And in the picture, like, there's like a bird saying like, what are other words for impeccable? And the bird that has a smart cap who maybe just graduated college or something is saying faultless, immaculate, perfect, flawless, pure, irreproachable, I think. Irreproachable, unblemished, spotless, sinless, and blameless. Okay, the next word is? That's one. Exult. exult which means rejoice easily now the usage is when Os osama bin laden was killed our public had reason to exult which means they uh, to rejoice okay the uh, part of speech is an intransitive word hey, the next word is as you say there's no picture for that component uh, it means a part or element of a larger whole, especially a part of a machine or a vehicle. Basically, it means a part of a bigger, bigger whole as a component. Or an electronic, maybe? Mm -hmm. Like, and, for example, like, there's like a machine for the TV. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a TV or a bike. Okay, so uh, a sentence is, a good motion picture producer should be skilled in all the manifold components of filmmaking. Hey, I think we're the mani manifold on the 29th episode. Multiple, yeah. Part of speech is an ah. And in the picture, we, we're seeing an electronic like, component. So we see some ice keys, like integrated circuits, and like, transistors. Uh, probably there are... Maybe it's a phone that's broken apart and they showed the inside of the phone, maybe? Alright, the next word is... Labyrinth. The last and final word. And the, uh, it means arrangement of winding passages. As you can see in the picture, There's a name. these passages are really, really winding. It That looks like the Padma Vyuham doesn't it yeah and you can also pause this video and try to do that maze if you want okay so the usage is after wandering through the labyrinth the young heroine came face to face with the dragon who was 
indigenous to the dark hollow caves. Do you remember indigenous? I don't. They, I don't it think is I there. native. So native me uh, indigenous means native or local. Um, so here in this case, the dragon was native to the dark hollow caves. And the heroine, young heroine, wandered through labyrinth, which is an arrangement of winding passages. And then after a while, she came face to face with a dragon. And like, you can like see that she started over like, like at the very thin slit. And then in the middle circle, she went all the way to the middle circle and the dragon was standing there. All and right. the hardest feat is a nap. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the session i hope you enjoyed uh learning these 10 new words please try to frame your own sentences and try to use it in your daily conversation um and hershika do you have do you have something to say for the audience if you like this video be sure to like share and subscribe to our channel learning is a journey and hit the bell all right so we'll see you tomorrow with 10 brand new words. Happy learning. Brand new words just for you. Happy learning. Bye. Thanks for learning. Learning is a journey.